it looks like a lovely home. So we must question what is wrong in New York that somebody would leave this perfectly fine, actually well-maintained middle-class home in New York to go and invade Palestinian homes to go and engage in the genocide and ethnic cleansing of Palestinians thousands of miles away. What is happening in New York is not an anomaly. What is happening in New York is being allowed to happen because our communities in the West, in the US, in Canada, and in Europe especially, have been normalizing the right of Europeans to travel to Palestine to commit war crimes and crimes against humanity with wholesale impunity and worse over while we normalize this ethnic cleansing, while we normalize these crimes and these criminals like Yaakov Fauci in our communities. We say that the day has ended for when Zionists and Israelis and Americans and New Yorkers can go to Palestine without being exposed without being held to account, without being made to pay for their crimes and made to leave Palestine. We also saw what was wrong in New York when we saw de Blasio and Long Island County officials like Blakeman and Laura Curran exhorting our communities to criminalize and punish an ice cream company, Ben & Jerry's, for merely merely partially abiding by international law and leaving stolen Palestinian land. We saw de Blasio and Curran and Blakeman implement executive orders demanding that Palestinians and those who speak on Palestine or those who criticize Israel be punished and disciplined and surveilled for speaking their conscience, for speaking morality, while we see people like Blakeman and Esposito and Curran and otherwise exhorting New Yorkers, <laughs> exhorting them to violence, calling for them to join settlements, calling for them to romanticize and strengthen the movement to ethnically cleanse Palestinians from right here in New York. And that is what's happening. This neighborhood in particular has been turned into a hotbed of Zionist extremism. Many communities in New York are being exhorted to commit violence and genocide and ethnic cleansing in Palestine. We say that day is over. We remind county officials that under the U.S. Federal Code 18 U.S.C. 1901 that it is a federal crime for people, for New Yorkers, for Americans to engage in acts of genocide, which means acts of ethnic cleansing intended to damage and erase and hurt an entire people as Yaakov himself has testified to openly and repeatedly through his statement written and spoken. It is also a federal crime to aid and abet that genocide just as Nahalat Shimon did when they funded him to go to Palestine first in the West Bank and then in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood of Al-Quds. It is also a crime to conspire and we call out the Zionist institutions that are calling on Americans and New Yorkers to call for people to go and colonize Palestine. This will be the first of many actions by Al Auda New York, by our friends at New York for Palestine, the National Lawyers Guild, and defundracism.org because what we say is crimes against humanity have no place in our community. Crimes against humanity, 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 no place in our community. What is Zionism? Zionism is racism. What is Zionism? Zionism is racism. What else is Zionism? Zionism is terrorism. What else is Zionism? Zionism is terrorism. What is Zionism? Zionism is racism. What else is Zionism? Zionism is terrorism. Resistance is justified against Israeli genocide. Resistance is justified against Israeli genocide. Resistance is justified against Israeli genocide. Resistance is justified.
justified against Israeli genocide. Resistance is justified against Israeli genocide.